The Flytic Evader 4 Pro, Flytic Eye Apex 4, 8-Bit Do Ultimate, Xbox Elite Series 2 Core, and 8-Bit Do Pro 2 are the most popular PC gaming controllers of 2024, but which is the absolute best? We are going to compare them to each other and score them in various categories, with some categories holding more weight than others. In the end, we'll decide which is the best one based on the final score, and we will declare the absolute winner. Let's dive in. Let's... First, we are going to compare them on the Compatibility with Different Platforms category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. Flytic Evader 4 Pro supports PC, Nintendo Switch, TV, Android, and laptops, offering versatile gaming options across multiple platforms. However, it lacks compatibility with Xbox and PlayStation consoles, which might be a drawback for some gamers. I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10 for compatibility. Flytigy Apex 4 is compatible with PC, Nintendo Switch, TV, Android, and laptops, providing a wide range of gaming possibilities. Unfortunately, like its counterpart, it doesn't work with Xbox or PlayStation systems, which could be a limitation for console gamers. Based on my experience, I'd rate it 8 out of 10 for platform compatibility. 8-Bit Do Ultimate works seamlessly with Nintendo Switch, Windows, and SteamOS, including the Steam Deck, offering a good range of compatibility. However, it falls short when it comes to PlayStation and Xbox support, which might disappoint some users. From my test Testing, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 for platform compatibility. Xbox Elite Series 2 Core shines with its compatibility, working flawlessly with Xbox consoles, Windows PCs, and even supporting Bluetooth for mobile devices. The downside is its lack of native support for Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, which could be a deal breaker for some. In my experience, it deserves an 8 out of 10 for compatibility. 8BitDo Pro 2 takes the crown in this category, supporting Nintendo Switch, Windows PCs, Mac OS computers, Android devices, and even Raspberry Pi. While it doesn't work with Xbox or PlayStation, its broad compatibility across other platforms makes it incredibly versatile. After extensive use, I'd rate it a stellar 9 out of 10 for platform compatibility. The 8-Bit Do Pro 2 wins this round with 9 points, thanks to its impressive range of supported platforms and exceptional value for money. Next, we are going to compare them on the ergonomic design and comfort category, which has a multiplier of 2. Flydigy Vader 4 Pro boasts a sleek design with improved materials, giving it a premium feel in hand. The ergonomic layout ensures comfort during extended gaming sessions, though some users might find it slightly heavier than preferred. 7 out of 10. Flydigy Apex. 4 features an S-shaped ergonomic design handlebar shoulder that fits comfortably in your hands. The semi-transparent magnetic shell adds a unique touch, but the controller may feel a bit bulky for those with smaller hands. 8 out of 10. 8-Bit Do. Ultimate offers a comfortable grip with textured handles that prevent slipping during intense gaming sessions. While it provides a satisfying feel overall, the central buttons are placed quite close together, which might lead to accidental presses. 8 out of 10. Xbox Elite Series 2 Core delivers a premium feel with high-quality construction and textured rubber grips that enhance comfort. However, the lack of included back paddles might disappoint some users expecting a fully featured Pro Controller experience. 9 out of 10. Bit Do Pro 2 impresses with its ergonomic design that fits comfortably in your hands, even during long games. Gaming sessions. The textured grips provide a secure hold, though the controller might feel a tad small for those with larger hands. 9 out of 10. The 8-Bit Do Pro 2 takes the crown in this category with 9 points, offering exceptional comfort and ergonomics at an unbeatable price point. Next, we are going to compare them on the Connectivity Options category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. Flatic Evader 4 Pro offers Bluetooth connectivity for multiple platforms, including PC, Android, and iOS devices, providing versatile wireless gaming options. However, it lacks a 2.4 GHz wireless dongle, which could have improved its latency performance for competitive gaming. 7 out of 10. Flytigy Apex. 4 impresses with its triple connectivity options, Bluetooth, 2.4 GHz wireless dongle, and wired USB-C, catering to various gaming preferences. The 2.4 GHz connection boasts a 1000 Hz polling rate, ensuring minimal input lag for competitive gaming, but the Bluetooth mode might not be as responsive for high-stakes gameplay. 9 out of 10. 8-Bit Do Ultimate shines with its 2.4 GHz wireless dongle, offering low-latency connectivity for PC and Switch gaming. While it lacks Bluetooth, the included charging dock with an integrated dongle storage is a clever design that streamlines the charging and connection process. 8 out of 10. Xbox Elite Series 2 Core supports Xbox Wireless, Bluetooth, and wired USB-C connections, providing flexibility across Xbox consoles and Windows PCs. I found the Xbox Wireless connection to be particularly reliable, but the lack of a 2.4 GHz dongle option for PC gaming is a minor letdown. 8 out of 10. BitDo Pro 2 offers impressive connectivity with Bluetooth 4.0 support for all compatible devices and a wired mode for those who prefer zero latency. The ability to switch between four different devices using a toggle switch on the back is a game changer, but the absence of a 2.4 GHz wireless option is noticeable. 8 out of 10. The Flydigy Apex 4 takes the crown in connectivity with 9 points, offering a trifecta of connection options that cater to both casual and competitive gamers alike. Next, we are going to compare them on the button layout and customization options category, 
which has a multiplier of two. Flydigi Vader 4 Pro boasts an impressive array of buttons, including four back paddles and two side buttons, offering extensive customization options through its companion app. However, some users have reported that the back paddles can be a bit stiff and require a break-in period. I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10 for its versatility. Flydigi Apex 4 takes customization to the next level with its modular design, allowing users to swap out buttons and even the D-pad to suit their preferences. The downside is that the sheer number of options can be overwhelming for some users, leading to a bit of a learning curve. Overall, I'd rate it 9 out of 10 for its unparalleled flexibility. 8-Bit Do Ultimate impresses with its programmable back buttons and the ability to create and store multiple profiles, making it easy to switch between game-specific layouts. On the flip side, the lack of trigger stops might be a deal-breaker for some FPS enthusiasts. In my experience, it deserves an 8 out of 10 for its balance of features and ease of use. Xbox Elite Series 2 core shines with its adjustable tension thumbsticks, hair trigger locks, and interchangeable components, offering a truly premium customization experience. The only drawback I've found is that the paddles can sometimes get in the way during intense gaming sessions. Despite this minor issue, it earns a stellar 9 out of 10 for its professional-grade customization options. 8-Bit Do Pro 2 surprises with its extensive customization options, including remappable buttons, adjustable vibration, and the ability to create macros, all at a budget-friendly price point. The only real downside is the lack of trigger stops, which might disappoint some competitive gamers. Considering its value for money, I'd give it an impressive 9 out of 10. The 8-Bit Do Pro 2 takes the crown in this category with 9 points, offering an exceptional balance of customization options and affordability that's hard to beat. Finally, we are going to compare them on the durability and build quality category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. Flydigi Vader 4 Pro boasts a solid construction with high-quality materials, including force-adjustable lever joysticks and knob-adjusted resistance for the triggers. However, some users have reported issues with micro-switch durability in previous models, which may be a concern for long-term use. I give it 8 out of 10 for durability and build quality. Flydigi Apex Soar. 4 impresses with its robust build, featuring a hefty weight of 328 grams and improved mechanical buttons that seem to address previous micro-switch issues. The implementation of adaptive triggers adds to its durability, but the increased weight might not be everyone's cup of tea. Based on my experience, I rate it 9 out of 10 for durability and build quality. 8-Bit Do Ultimate Controller offers a sleek design with high-quality construction and textured rubber grips, providing a comfortable feel during extended gaming sessions. While it's lighter than some competitors at 228 grams, which could be seen as less durable, it still feels solid in hand. I give it 7 out of 10 for durability and build quality. Xbox Elite Series 2 Core showcases Microsoft's commitment to premium build quality with its sleek design and high-quality construction. The textured rubber grips and comfortable feel in hand are standout features, but the lack of included accessories might make some question its value proposition. From my testing, I rate it 8 out of 10 for durability and build quality. 8-Bit Do Pro 2 surprises with its sturdy construction and great ergonomics, especially considering its budget-friendly price point. The enhanced grip on the back feels similar to more expensive controllers, and the buttons have a satisfying click when pressed. In my opinion, it deserves a solid 8 out of 10 for durability and build quality. The 8-Bit Do Pro 2 takes the crown in this category, scoring 8 points for its impressive build quality and durability at a fraction of the price of its competitors. The results of our comparison show each product shines in its own way, but the 8-Bit Do Pro 2 stands out with its score of 73.5. Having personally used all these controllers, I can confidently say the 8-Bit Do Pro 2 delivers exceptional value with its impressive range of compatibility, ergonomic design, and extensive customization options. It not only feels great in hand, but also offers a robust build quality at a budget-friendly price, making it a versatile choice for both casual and competitive gamers. Its ability to switch between devices seamlessly and its highly configurable buttons make it the best all-rounder in the market. While the 8-Bit Do Pro 2 takes the top spot, the other contenders also deserve applause. The Flydigi Apex 4 and Xbox Elite Series 2 core both scored highly at 73 and 72 respectively. The Flydigi Apex 4 impressed with its modular design and triple connectivity options, though its bulkier size may not suit everyone. The Xbox Elite Series 2 core, with its premium customization and resilient build, is a fantastic choice for Xbox and PC gamers who don't mind the lack of certain accessories. Meanwhile, the Flydigi Vader 4 Pro and 8-Bit Do Ultimate also offered solid performances, scoring 64.5 and 65 points. Each brought unique strengths to the table, such as the Flydigi Vader's premium materials and the 8-Bit Do Ultimate's low latency connectivity. In the end, all these controllers were terrific in their own right, but it's clear the 8-Bit Do Pro 2 truly leads the pack.